Soham says, I'm considering taking computer science engineering for college, but recently I heard that GPT-3 and VS Code Assistant AI can predict code for a given problem and automatically generate possible algorithms, taking into consideration that AI will advance in the next 5-10 to 10 years. Is my future career option software development engineering in danger of being of getting replaced by an AI and artificial intelligence? So yes, we have reached the stage where AI can write code. When we have reached the stage where AI can improve upon its own code and get better iteratively. We have reached there. So the question is this: when we write code, when we create algorithms, when we create new software products and packages, we are essentially trying to solve certain problems. That's what all the softwares do. That's what all the algorithms do. We are trying to solve problems. We are trying to improve upon uh, whatever we have. Right? That's what software development engineering is all about. It's about solving real world problems. And how do we know there are problems? Because we have eyes, ears, and we can see what's, what the world is like. Now, when it comes to an AI, an AI does not have access to all of this data. What's out there in the world? Do we have potholes on the street? Do people need pizza delivery in 20 minutes or 10 minutes? AI doesn't know any of these things. AI can only sense certain things as long as they are given that uh, it is given that much sensory input. And then whatever it, it perceives as problems, it tries to solve that. So AIs have reached the stage where they can solve what they perceive as problems and improve upon their own code and get better on their own volition. But yet, AI is not capable of, as of today, understanding what problems human, fa human beings face and what solutions we human beings need. Right? It's not at, th at that stage. I don't, I don't imagine that AI will reach there in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, if AI is to solve problems, it needs inputs. It needs data as to what the world is like. Now, AI doesn't have visual data. It doesn't have sensory inputs the way we have. What are our senses? We have eyes. So we see the world. And then we can see the problems. We can hear things, which adds to this data that we have. So all of these senses, the five senses, they tell us what the world is like and what the problems are. And there are very human problems that we face. AI doesn't have eyes and ears. So AI doesn't really know what the world is like. It's like a bunch of bacteria sitting in a petri dish, wondering what's out there. But they don't have the senses to tell them that there's a human being looking at them right now under a microscope. So similarly, AI is handicapped in a variety of ways. And AI doesn't have access to all of this information. And that's why AI cannot solve the problems that we face. Maybe in 20, 30, 40 years, we may be able to have AIs that have access to such things, in which case we are doomed, essentially. <laughs> so that's where we are. I don't think that uh, your future career option is in danger of getting replaced by AI, AI in the next 10 or 20 years. That's my personal assessment. So I think your career is thus far safe. But yeah, we are going towards that in that direction. The AIs are learning on their own now and they can actually improve upon themselves and, and write their own code. And possibly they could write programs that do other things as well. But they are still not at the stage where they can actually solve problems that people face and society faces. 